Well, good evening. I hope you've had a good day. I hope you've stayed safe and healthy in these difficult times that we're living in. I know that things look bad, but I assure you there's a better day coming. If we'll continue to stay focused and trust in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God is good. He's never let us down. And I assure you, he will never let you down. Hi, Mama Maynard. Hi, Robert Esler. Hi, Debbie Lezot. I see you kicking in. And uh, we thank God for you that are tuning in and watching us today. Hi, Orville. Spoke with you earlier. And uh, it's good. If I keep watching the bottom of the screen, I'll not be able to go on. We got a lot to pray about today. Hi, Rita. And uh, let's look at this today if we get, before we get started in the prayer list. Uh, Jack and Glenda Ruffner's granddaughter uh, is having a baby at South Shore Hospital, and her name is Cheyenne. So if you remember Cheyenne this afternoon, the family would greatly appreciate it. Continue to pray for Orville and Brenda, Jason and Melissa, Tom and Irma. Irma will be having surgery next week. Also, Charles and Rita. Rita will be having surgery next Tuesday. Spoke with her earlier today. My cousin, Ed Cochran, had surgery yesterday. Had a very rough night last night and a, a very difficult. Brother Lloyd Hill is in the hospital. He's got pneumonia and fluid on the knee, and it's infection. Remember all of our seniors. Pray for our nation. Please pray for our president, vice president, the House and the Senate, that we would come together. Folks, our nation is so divided, it's unreal. They're not worried about the American people. If you just stop and look, a lot of the House and Senate, they're not worried about the American people. They could care less. They want to keep you poor, starved, and scared to death. Wake up. It's been like that for years. They've scared people to death. But God will take care of it sooner or later. Pray for revival in America. We need revival. We're going to be looking today in, the, in God's Word today. We're going to be looking at hope for the future. Is there hope for the future for the Christians? Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for this day. All of those that we mentioned in the beginning, Lord, I pray that you would touch them today from the crown of their heads under the soles of their feet. Bless us today as we look into your word today. Help us, God, to rightly divide the word and help us to take it and apply it to our lives. For it is in Christ's name we pray and amen. Hope for the future. I'm looking for a better day. I don't know about you, but I am looking for a better day. We'll be looking in Revelations here in just a, a few minutes in chapter 21, if it be the Lord's will. But a few Bible verses before we get started. And one of the things that the future can be scary. It's a scary times right now, which many uncertainty. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but I assure you tomorrow will bring a better day. God is in control. When we have faith in Christ, however, we have hope, not only in this life, but in the next, see, the next life. I'm not worried so much about America. I'm more worried about a place on the other side that Jesus has prepared in John chapter 14. He makes it a promise that he, he's going to prepare a place. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But listen, surely there is a future and your hope will not be cut off. The Christians will not be cut off. There is a better day coming. Malachi said this in 7 and 7. But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation and my God will hear me. One day, God is going to call. Jesus is going to step out on the clouds of glory. And he's going to call the children home. And the Bible said the dead in Christ will rise first. Then you and I which shall remain shall be changed in a moment and a twinkling of an eye. Listen to this in Ephesians 1 and 18. Having the eyes of your heart enlightened that you may know what is the hope to which you have been called. You have a riches and glorious inheritance in the saints. My friend, we have a glorious inheritance on the other side. Let's look at what John says in the book of Revelation and looking for the future. In John chapter, in Revelation chapter 21, and I saw a new heaven 
and a new earth. Wow. Ah, a new one. Not refurbish this one. Not repair this one. I'm going to a new heaven. Praise God. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there were no more sea. Brother, what you and I see today is going to be gone. We'll have a new one, a new place on the other side. Praise God. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Praise God. We are the bride of Christ, and one day we will be reunited with him. Man, I don't know about you, but I get excited. I want to preach today. I don't want to do a devotion. I'm excited about what God is about to do. America's asleep. You know he can slip in and take the church out right now, and nobody would ever know what happened. I am so glad for his goodness. And God shall listen. And, and, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. In other words, we're not going to a place without God. It'll be like it was when God created the heavens and the earth the first time and put man on planet earth. Listen, uh, we'll be able to commune with God, be with God, see God, and never more die. There'll be no more sickness, no more sorrow. Listen to what the Word of God says, and this is our future. It is our future, praise God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Ain't going to be no more COVID-19. Ain't going to be no more ventilators. Ain't going to be no more graveyard. Praise God, there'll be no funeral home. I'll never preach another funeral. I'll only shout on the other side. Man, I'm about to get excited. Listen. Wipe away all tears from my and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, neither crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. There is no more. I don't know about you, but I tell you what, I get so excited when I think about heaven and where we're going and my future. I got hope. No, I know where I'm going. Jesus made me a promise. He said, in my Father's house are many mansions. I'm going there one day, my friend. And John saw it here. And he that sitteth upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Praise God, we got a future on the other side. Praise God, we got a better day going, coming, and it ain't in this world, it's on the other side. You know, we got so much to shout about, so much to thank him for, so much to praise him for. We shouldn't be gloom and doom on a day just because it's gloomy and bad and rainy here in Michigan. The sun is shining over in heaven. That's where we're going, amen? I, I, don't, I can't help it. I get excited thinking about my future I get excited thinking about what God has prepared for you and I. There ain't nobody in here but me and God and the Holy Ghost, and we're having a good time today. I hope you are. I hope you got something out of this today. Christians, we got a future, and it's on the other side. And I believe with all of my heart that we're going there. My son is calling in. Hi, Justin. Let's hang on. Dad's on live, okay? And uh, God is so good. We love him and we thank him for his goodness. And I know that one day we're going on the other side to be with Jesus. That is our future. Don't give up. Don't get discouraged. Don't get dismayed. Just say, God, I'm ready to go. Whenever you call me home, I want to go. Listen, I hope you've had a good time today on this little devotion. I got excited, and I'm not going to apologize for it. Uh, if you were here, we'd run around the church today. I thank God for his goodness and for his blessing. And Justin, they're all saying hi to you. Can you say hi, Justin? Say hi, Justin. Hello. <laughs> That's my number one son. I love you guys. Thank you for praying for us. Share this with someone today. Let someone know how much you enjoyed it. 
Don't forget, tomorrow afternoon at 4.30, we'll be doing it again. Sunday morning, we'll be live streaming from the church at 11 o'clock. Please invite your family and friends to come in and enjoy it with us. And uh, Mommy said hi, too. Justin, Charlie said hi. Everybody's saying hi, Justin. So, listen, don't forget that. We love you. One quick update on Jack Ruffner. He is home. And he's got his own private nurse. Miss Glenda is taking care of him. And uh, you pray for Jack and Glenda. He'll go back Monday and see the cardiologist. And they'll determine uh, exactly what you're doing. But I am so glad that Jack is home and doing better. But he needs your prayers. Pray for Miss Glenda that she be strong enough to do all the things that she needs to do. We love you. God bless you. Until tomorrow evening at 430. Have a great evening.